What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. Today we're talking nutrition specifically for hard gainers and more importantly the mistakes that hard gainers make and who would I bring into this video? No, not Charlie, he's doing good with food. We're talking about Jesse, our resident hard gainer, who by the way, hi Jesse. How's it going guys? Is actually not necessarily a hard gainer anymore because he's changing his mindset that places the limits on him thinking he's a hard gainer. So we've addressed a lot of his training uh, so far, but we haven't really addressed, addressed nutrition. And honestly, you can train your ass off as a hard gainer. If your nutrition isn't in check, you will not see the results that you want to see, particularly in the form of weight gain or more importantly, muscle gain, because you're not providing the muscles with the proper nutrition. And the key is this doesn't just mean calories. Calories is not going to cut it when it, when it comes to building new productive muscle tissue. You need to provide, as I said plenty of times already, high quality nutrition, not just food, but nutrient dense food. So I figured in order to kind of cover this, I'd take you on my journey because Jesse's following that journey as we speak. And I take you back to my childhood where my food intake was horrible. I mean, absolutely atrocious. I swear I've said this a million times. I was the biggest junk food junkie. I make Jesse look like a, a, a complete a healthy eater. It's, it, <laughs> the fact of the matter is I ate nothing good. And so maybe I was able to come home and my parents would force me to eat, and my grandparents would force me to eat something good at dinner time. But it wasn't for lack of trying on my part, because I would have for breakfast some kind of cereal. Fruit Loops, one of my favorite. As a matter of fact, I would uh, put Fruit Loops with like three other cereals in the same bowl, you know, because so, I couldn't just choose one. So I'd have that. The problem here, loaded with sugar, no fiber, nothing real, real beneficial in here. And that wasn't enough though, because of course I'd have like my favorite of all time, Enamins Crumb uh, Donuts, right? These guys. And of course I wouldn't have one. So in one you have 250 calories, 20 grams of sugar. No, I'd have three or four, at least three or four. And the thing is, is that when you're, you know, when you're having those types of foods, you're really providing no opportunity to have good quality nutrition in place of that. So I would say that still wasn't enough. I'd have some chocolate donuts too. So these guys, you know the little mini donuts? These, okay? I would pound at least three or four of those every morning too. This is just in the same breakfast. So I could eat and I could take in a lot of calories. But the fact is, I wasn't taking in nutrient dense calories. This is the kid's problem right here, okay? So. <laughs> Come on, I love them. They're so right, good. Go ahead, have one. These days are ending. Oh, thank so, God. the fact of the matter is, you're not getting a lot of protein. In all of these foods right here, there's literally no protein in here at all. And more importantly, let's say you're the type that feels that saturated fat is the enemy. And a lot of people are in the camp these days of saying that it's not as bad as it used to be or what people perceived it to be. That's fine, but if you do believe that, there's tons of saturated fat in these things. In just three donuts here, there's 15 grams of saturated fat. Right? In these donuts over here, same story. There's no real uh, good nutrition that, from that standpoint, but in my camp, I believe that sugar is really more of the enemy. And there's plenty, as I said, of sugar in these choices here. Other than that, really nothing. So what we know we need to do is we need to get off of that and try to get ourselves to this side of the table, which is where I eat these days. So we have slow cooked oats, oatmeal, pumpkin, to rich in vitamins and minerals. This I put in with the oatmeal. Walnuts, great source of fats. We're not scared of fat, but it's got a, great, a, a high amount of polyunsaturated fat. Okay, so we have a, a different balance here, completely on the other side of the equation. The biggest mistake a hard gainer can try to make in making the changes, and even if you're watching this video right now and say, yeah, I, I think I need to eat more of what Jeff's showing over here, is to try to jump from that to that. Because I tried to do that, and that was a mistake. I heard and read in the magazines that you're supposed to eat oatmeal. That's what all the bodybuilders were eating. Little did I know they were eating other stuff too, you know, and taking other things and injecting other things. But I, I was fixated on the oatmeal, and I jumped towards the oatmeal, and I started having this. And this was so disgusting to me because I was used to eating all that sugar and this has none in it, one gram. And it was so distasteful to me that I almost turned, got turned off completely to the whole idea of eating healthier. So, but before I did, I, I did one thing that I think saved me. And that was I tried to pick something in the middle. This is oatmeal too, okay? Comes in this little packet, Jesse eats these every now and then. Yep. And the thing is that these are, this is the, the fast, you know, uh, oats. There's really not as much fiber in this as there is in this, in the slow cook oats. But beyond that, these are loaded with sugar, 
right? So they have like the maple kind, they have the maple brown sugar, they have, what's, what, what do you eat? So I eat the maple brown sugar. That's why they're so tasty. I know, no kidding. So now they've made that more tasty by putting a lot of sugar into it. But at least I was still eating oatmeal instead of eating donuts, instead of eating Fruit Loops, instead of eating, so I felt like to me it was an upgrade, and it was. But it wasn't where I needed to get to, but if I never did this first, then I never would have been able to get to this. Because what I did was I would take two packets of this, and that would be my breakfast, okay? And I'd have a glass of orange juice or whatever else I would eat with that. But then I started to combine one pack of this and then one serving of this. And I was able to tolerate it because I was getting more and more of a taste for oatmeal in the morning. And then I would take two of these, but I had to start putting in my own brown sugar. And I put a lot, yeah. all right, to try to make it taste a little bit better. But then I started to be able to wean that down because it started to taste a little too sweet to me. And instead I started to put in like banana and sliced up banana, which is a, a source of sweetness that wasn't as bad as the just pounding in the brown sugar. So over time I made better and better choices to what I have these days, which again is pumpkin mixed with, and I put this, uh, this recipe up on our channel here a long time ago, but pumpkin mixed in with some brown sugar and cinnamon and the oats and walnuts and then even a little bit of whipped cream on top and it's friggin' awesome. But the fact is, I never would have even gotten here or had the tolerance for this if I didn't start somewhere in the middle. And for a guy like Jesse, we see what he eats. He loves gummy bears. <laughs> he lo what else do you eat? Potato uh, chips. Potato right? All chips, uh, Doritos. This know. is his daytime meal. Like, this is what he's eating, you know? When he goes home and eats dinner, he has a good dinner? Yeah, great dinner. Got Italian mom, of course. <laughs> Italian mother's gonna make sure he's eating at least normal foods as opposed to all this kind of fast food type stuff processed stuff, so he at least gets that part right. And a lot of times it's out of convenience, but don't confuse the fact that he's not taking in enough calories and don't confuse the fact that you might not be taking in enough calories. You probably are. You might be taking a lot. They say eat big, get big. It's not that, it's not that. It's eat good, eat high quality food, get big. So if you even take in and start making these swaps, you might find that your calories will go down but because your nutritional value and the content, the, the quality of what you're taking in is better, more productive, your body can do more with it, you're gonna start seeing gains and start building muscle. Because they're higher quality calories, right? That's what I just said. <laughs> so the, the, the fact is you wanna make sure that quality is dictating your choices, not quantity, and as a matter of fact, the quantity will actually start taking care of itself. The good news is you will be able to eat a lot more of this provided your stomach is, is able to accept it. And a lot of times, you know, your stomach isn't able to accept it because you really haven't been eating a lot of fiber. You really haven't been eating a lot of protein. So you'll find that you get full pretty quick when you start eating the more nutritious foods. So that might take a little time for you to adapt to, to start eating a little bit more in quantities. But at that point, you can eat a lot and eat more in terms of quantity as long as you're eating high quality. And now the gains really start coming. So we are working with Jesse on his nutrition. As I said, that was your last shot, buddy. You want one more, more, more bite? Yeah, now Go ahead, take another come on, bite. Come on. All right, there you go. So he, we're working on improving his nutrition so that over time here, he's going to be providing much more uh, uh, productive calories for his body to actually do something with, and that's gonna help us to add the gains to his physique as we continue to complement what he's doing in the gym with what he's doing the other 23 hours of the day. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, if you're looking for a complete training program that has a nutrition plan, that is forgiving. In other words, it's not telling you just to jump into this and eat bland and, 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 and hate the way you, your life feels when you're eating this stuff. It's about showing you how to eat better and making it actually enjoyable and giving you plenty of options to choose from so that you actually like what you're eating. That's our X Factor meal plan. It's in our uh, Athlinex uh, training systems over at athlinex.com. In the meantime, whatever you want us to cover here, especially with Jesse as my sort of guest here, <laughs> we'll do that in the future videos and make sure that we answer the questions that you want us to answer. All right. I'll talk to you soon, guys. See ya. Say bye, Jesse. See you, guys. <laughs>